All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. How's it going, you guys? Um, we got something a little bit different uh, today. Um, we're going to be testing out a, a new piece of gear. Um, and uh, what it is, it's uh, it's an induction cooktop. Um, it'll kind of like singular portable, somewhat portable electric cooktop uh, stove. And um, it's different from a standard uh, a standard stove top in that it doesn't use a, a heating element, um, and the surface doesn't get hot when you just put anything on it. Um, what it does is it it uh, it heats up the iron that's inside of your pans, um, and then uh, yeah, it does some kind of science shit like that. Honestly, I don't. I, I don't know. I haven't read like a whole lot about it. You can look into it if you want to. But anyways, um, the question that we have for today uh, is: Is it gonna work with my desiccator? That's that's what I um, wanted to know. Uh, originally, I had seen these on um, someone pointed these out. Uh, another one made by another company called New Wave, and they look a little bit cooler, a little uh, more high tech. The round. And um, what, what I really liked about it is that you can, um, it, it has a, a digital readout and you can put the exact temperature that you want. And, um, and that's awesome. The grills, they, they kind of vary in their temperature. Um, they, have, they swing, they uh, about probably like 70 degrees. You know, they'll, they'll go down to about 90 and then it'll turn on and it'll, and it'll go all the way up to about 160 and then it'll slowly kind of like go back down and uh, and you'll have to kind of like find that that middle that middle point um, anyways so we're gonna go ahead and give this a try um, I have a feeling it's not gonna work which is gonna suck I bought this one from Costco just so if it doesn't work I can return it and I don't get stuck with buying one you know from eBay or whatever uh, so we're gonna go ahead and plop this on here and um, I'm pretty sure that my uh, chamber is made of aluminum, and so no iron, um, and no iron means no work. So, but I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and hope. Let's give it a shot. So, pretty sure you just turn this on, and we'll turn it all the way up. This one doesn't have a temperature readout. It's just like one through six. Uh, shit. Okay. So it just turned itself off, and I'm thinking that that means it's not going to work. Another way that you can test it is you can take a magnet, try to stick a magnet on there, and if the magnet sticks, yep, see the magnet's not sticking. See my awesome dog? That's his summer cut. I shave him like a lion. <laughs> it's less fur for me and more rad for him. He gets all the he gets all the bitches. <laughs> Um, Alright, so let's give this another shot just to kind of double check and be sure. We'll, we'll turn it on. Turn it up. Put my hand in here. See if I can feel anything. I don't feel shit. Damn! Alright, so let's, uh, let's, um, take an, a regular pot, put a regular pot on and give this a try and see what happens this pot um, looks like it has a bottom that's like made for that shit turn it on, turn it up ooh I can hear it it's, it's pissed Oh yeah, it's getting hot. Shit. That means... That means it's not gonna work. <clears throat> Sorry, it took me four minutes and a half to... to just to say it's not gonna work, but... At least now we know. So hey, you know, if any of you guys have the, desi the uh, desiccator vacuum chamber that I have, which is the Vacuit Pro, these things are a no-go. There you go. Save yourself some time. Don't buy an induction uh, cooktop to try to try to do your shit because it won't work. Let's give this a try. It's your fun. Ooh, yeah, that shit. Ooh. 
goes fast. Well, looks like I'll be taking a trip back to Costco. Alright you guys, um, there we go, we learned something together. Induction cooktops don't work with Vacuit Pro Chambers. Alright, bye you guys.